In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Tag Filter block, a feature on our professional plan. This block is perfect for those of you who send your music to music libraries for licensing or to music supervisors for sync opportunities. It's great for anybody who wants to filter down a longer reel and zero in on specific things like mood, genre, or media type. No matter how you want to organize your audio with tags, you can allow the listener to filter it on your reel with the tag filter block. A great thing about this feature is that a single block filters all the media on your reel, even if it's in multiple media blocks, so you only ever need one filter block per reel. Now that you've seen how the tag filter block looks on a reel, let's jump into the reel builder and show you how to customize it. As you can see, I already have two playlists on my reel, and all of these tracks are tagged, and each playlist on this reel features a different set of tags. So, this is the perfect setup for the tag filter block. I want to add the filter block above this media block, so I just hover between the media block and the block directly above it. I click on the plus icon and then tag filter to add it. And now you can see my new block right here. Now just click on the bar at the top of the block to open it up and edit the settings. You can click here and start typing to find your tags. Or if you place your cursor here, you'll get a complete list. So I'll click these two tags to add them. And then I know I want these three tags. But what happens if you accidentally click a few tags that are not represented in your playlist? Don't worry, they won't show up on your reel. You'll never have empty tags at the top of your reel. And now, to commit these tags, make sure you click over here and then watch for the changes saved pop-up that will always show up here. That's all it takes to add your tags. Now let's go ahead and preview the reel. We can see our new tag filter up here and it looks great. It's always a good idea to click through the filter and check everything to make sure it's working as you expected. And in the future, if you add tracks with any of those unused tags we saw in the Reel Builder earlier, they'll be included in the filter automatically. Now you know everything you need to get started with the Tag Filter block. Anyone who views this Reel can quickly and easily filter to see only the tracks they're interested in. We can't wait to see how you use the Tag Filter block on your own Reels.